Hello, it's Lizzie here um, with another pregnancy baby related video. Thank you for watching. Welcome to my channel if you've not seen any of these before. So far we have done a first and a second trimester update and favourites video um, and today we are talking about baby gear and um, some of the bigger bits that we've been buying to get ready for this little guy turning up. Um, so I'm going to talk you through our Moses basket, our pram, our cot, our nappy bag, all of those sorts of things today. So um, yeah, I will show you some bits from here that I can, that I can pick up and then I'm going to turn you around and show you the cot and the pram. So let's get started. The thing that I'm kind of most excited about, probably because it's the newest thing to arrive, is the baby's Moses basket. So obviously we have the cot where he's going to sleep when he's older in this room. Um, and we are very lucky that we're going to get a hand-me-down. It's not a snooze pod. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Maybe it's a baby nest. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Um, that's going to go by the bed for co-sleeping. But when I'm at Smug, or if we're um, travelling around a little bit, we thought it sort of made sense to have a Moses basket. Also, to just move around the house. Um, so whether I'm here or I'm at Smug, he might sort of sit and sleep in this when I'm working. So, let me show you. It is hand-woven. Um, it's very like the African um, baskets that we always buy when we go to the south of France. So I think it's pretty much from the same place, um, same vibe, but obviously slightly, I don't know, more specific, higher end, because um, it's got a, a mattress and a sheet inside for the baby. Um, and it's got these lovely leather handles. This is the flamingo design, I think, because it's got this like little pink detail here. Um, I just think it's gorgeous. Um, quite a lot of people are getting them. They seem a bit, kind of a bit of a trend at the moment. I've seen lots of them on Instagram. This one is, um, I found on Instagram through a friend, um, and it's called Bossy Baby or Bosy Baby. Um, I'm going to link it below so that you can go and take a look. They do really gorgeous sheepskin um, linings for them as well, which look really nice. So, yes, I'm very happy with this guy. Wasn't the cheapest thing in the world, although very few baby things seem to be cheap. Um, but I'm really, really pleased with it. And I think it's going to be perfect for my studio. So, that is that. Another thing I wanted to show you is... Um, the nappy bag. So, this um, guy, the brand is called Land. Um, it's American, um, which obviously is fine, except for the fact that it says mommy and baby bag, chic mom, and things like that on it. Um, but we've got loads of lovely patches, iron on and stitch on patches, so I might, I might cheekily put a little patch over that because um, it's kind of a bit annoying but everything else about it I love so it's navy with gold hardware they call it um, the zips and it seems I mean obviously we don't have a baby yet but it seems super practical so one of the things I like about it is the top here um, has actually got like a thick metal wire so it opens all the way out so it's much easier to get inside it like properly properly opens if you can see um, that's great it's all waterproof the lining and everything um there are lots and lots and lots of compartments we're already filling it up with some bits and bobs so there's some like baby degradable nappy sacks and stuff like that and some some of the clothes because we've been prepping it as um the baby's hospital bag um so yeah as i say lots and lots of compartments which is great um i'll show you some of them specifically this one at the front would be really handy if I express or maybe if I formula feed because breastfeeding doesn't work for me but I am planning on um, on pumping if it does work out um, and here there are silver lined compartments that fit bottles so I imagine that will mean that they say the temperature that you put them in whether that's cool or hot um, and there's more kind of sections here there are side pouches this one's actually got a hole in it so you can put wet wipes in and pull them out or water wipes um, and then more sections here there's a bit here at the back that I guess is good for shoving a muslin or something similar in and then this section here actually is part of the main um, rucksack it opens into just the, the inside and the bottom but I imagine if everything's got 
gotten really full it's quite handy to have something to just pull out the bottom rather than take everything out so yeah we are very happy with this it's just like a kind of it just looks like a rucksack doesn't look like a nappy bag does it which i like um also if we are gonna use a sling or something like that i like the idea of being able to put it on my back and it be kind of equally balanced rather than having something over my shoulder um and dan's happy with it too so he'd be happy to wear it it does look a little bit dilly on him but um, it's not kind of feminine in any way. So it's a good one um, for parents who are sharing the childcare. So there we go, that's that. Um, another thing is this kind of storage basket from a brand called Lywood. I love everything that Lywood does actually, so they're worth checking out. I'll link them below. Um, this, like everything I show you in these videos, is covered in Maple's fluff, so we should probably lint remove that. Um, but basically, yeah, it's just a big navy blue storage basket. The plan is to use it as a laundry basket for the baby. It might be as he gets bigger or as things change, we end up putting toys in it or whatever. But it's very neutral. Lywood I love. I got that online actually in a sale in January. But quite a lot of the Lywood stuff that we get, we get from Molly Meg, which is a kids shop on Essex Road. It's a really, really great shop. Molly's wonderful. Check it out. Big shout out to Molly. Um, I will show you actually some more bits that we got from Molly Meg. Um, but yeah, I would really recommend Molly Meg and I would really recommend Lywood. So I think that's all of the stuff that I can easily show you around here. So now I'm going to come and pick you up and show you the cot. So we got our cot from Mamas and Papas. This is, I think, the Mia Vista sleigh bed or something like that. Um, it's a cot bed, so that's why you can see this piece here. That's actually the headboard, so that will go downstairs. Sorry about all of the paint and stuff. We're having renovations over the next couple of weeks in the flat and some of the stuff's in here. Um, so that's going to go downstairs. But as it is at the moment, it, it has two heights as well. So it's on the higher height, but it can go lower. And then, as I say, when the baby's bigger or when the baby's a toddler, it can turn into a bed. So we thought that kind of made sense for us. Um, it also comes with this sliding changing mat which also is great for us because it's not the biggest room in the world um, there wasn't an obvious spot for us to have like a chest of drawers with a changing mat on top so this works really well for us and we chose this alphabet design for the changing mat itself we love the colours, it's kind of the right I think I'm going to get the hiccups again this is the third time, sorry, every video, sorry um, so yeah, that's what we went for and we're really, really happy with that. Um, and it, it does come in white and maybe some other colours, but this like putty grey is really nice. Um, so we're pleased with that. Then obviously you may have noticed we have a sleepy head deluxe. <laughs> it seems like you are no one in the mummy world without a sleepy head deluxe. But in all seriousness, we did do quite a lot of research, spoke to tons of friends, and it came so highly recommended, we decided to go for it, even though they're not the cheapest thing in the world. Um, it's cool that it can be in here, in the cot, when the baby's big enough, or it can be um, used for co-sleeping either in our bed, now we've got a king-size bed, or most likely in like the kind of snooze pod-esque thing that we'll have to the side of the bed for the baby to sleep in for the first six months, also, I hear they're quite good for just dumping on the sofa next to you with the baby in. Dumping's probably not a very good word, is it, to use as a new parent? Um, anyway, and this design is a John Lewis collaboration, which I love. Um, people, Mostly people get that chevron grey one, but when I saw this, I was like, yeah, this is the one. Um, and you can actually get this design in muslins and stuff as well, if you like it. I think it might even have this design on some baby greys in John Lewis, so that's worth checking out. Um, this is Molly Meg, this cot sheet in this gorgeous, um, they call it sunflower yellow colour and that's organic cotton. I will link that up below as well. I think we're going to get one that's like a minty green too so that they will go with the changing mat. Um, we've got some cute blankets in here. This guy by a brand that I can't pronounce, so I'm just going to link it below. But we've got quite a lot of clothes from them that we really like as well, which I will show you in next week's video. And then back here is another Lywood jobby. This is actually a blanket and a sheet and a pillowcase when the baby's bigger. Um, and this design's got like little teepees and cacti and stuff in it that's super cute. So when he's old enough for bed linen, that's what he will have. Um, 
Again, I'm going to have to show you the ugly paint and kind of um, boxes down here, so sorry about that. But there is, um, I don't know if you can see, a drawer under the cot, which is super handy. So this pulls out on wheels, um, so we're storing under there um, sleep suits and pram things that are kind of bigger, like the rain covers and stuff like that, and bigger blankets. So that's really handy to have. Um, another little feature of the cot is that on the end of the changing mat there's this little rail that we've got some blankets on. I told you about um, the brand, the clothes brand Mori that I liked last week, that's a blanket by them. And we've got actually a blanket that we got free from Mamas and Papas that's just really simple like white ziggy zaggy stripey on the back. Um, and we got that free because um, we actually, I think I'm going to turn you around and talk to you about this quickly because um, I would really recommend this. So yeah, just to talk to you quickly about mamas and papas. Um, obviously it can be quite overwhelming as new parents, like all of the stuff that you need. Um, and we, it was coming up to Black Friday time and we decided to go to our mamas and papas to just try and do a bit of research and understand what it was as new parents we needed to get. Um, Cause yeah, it's pretty overwhelming. There's like cots and prams and I mean, all of the stuff I've been showing you and so much more. Um, so we went along to the Westfield mamas and papas to have a look around thinking we'd get our head in the game, we'd understand what we needed. And then on the Friday, maybe we'd buy some stuff online through Black Friday and get some discounts. And what we found when we got there was one, we met a woman who was unbelievably helpful who worked there. Um, but two, we understood that you can actually sit down with them um, in a separate room in the store on a gorgeous sofa with snacks and, <laughs> and drinks with a big, huge touch screen. I mean, obviously, you can walk around the store and look at stuff too. And they will talk to you just about everything they think that you might need, but not in a bombardy way at all. Um, we kind of laid out these are the sorts of things we're thinking we need. Um, and she helped us work out what was right for us um, and basically made a list of all of those things and because of spending a certain amount of money in one go we actually got a really big discount on top of it being Black Friday so yeah she, she also said look if you do this now even though it's Monday or whatever we will give you the deals from Friday which was fantastic but um, so it's kind of like doing a wedding list really it was like when we went to John Lewis for our wedding list um, and the other way it's like a wedding list is you can actually make up this list and leave without paying for anything at all um, and give the list out to family members who want to buy something for you or buy some of it yourself and save up for other bits. But basically the, the experience that we had was we were really, really well looked after, amazing customer service. We left really understanding what we needed and actually left having purchased quite a lot of it and it all got delivered really soon after that for us um so yeah i couldn't really recommend that highly enough um the reason i thought of it to tell you was because of showing you that blanket that we got for free so we got that for free we got this little bunny rabbit rattle for free and also a sleep suit as well so that was really really um sweet of them and really worth doing so we're quite big mamas and papas fans after that experience um so yeah the other big thing that we got at Mamas and Papas was the pram, so I'm now going to show you that. Um, it's interesting the whole pram malarkey thing. I think that's the thing that I've sort of found the most confusing and difficult. And it may sound, oh sorry to smash things, that was me moving the tripod. It may sound a bit silly, but it took me a while to get my head around being someone with a pram. I kind of feel like prams are a little bit annoying, aren't they? They kind of get in the way on public transport and I don't know. Although it hasn't taken me time to get my head around being a parent so much, it has taken me time to get my head around having a pram. So the kind of pram that we got made a big difference to me. And um, the fact that obviously I'm going to be to and from work and trying to get up and down the stairs at Smug made a big difference. So we wanted to go for what was lightest and easiest to fold down. So what we've got here um, is the Yo-Yo Baby Zen in the grey colour. Um, this setup is the zero to six month jobby, so the baby lies that way. We've also got the next thing up from six months, which faces the other way, which is more like a regular pram for the baby and kid to face the opposite way. Um, this pram is by far the lightest one that we could find on the market. 
some people actually have it some fancy people have it as their second pram for traveling because it falls down and will go in the overhead locker in an airplane um so there are kind of pros and cons as i say it's very light the other option for us we learnt at mums and papas would have been to go for a bugaboo b um and the reason we didn't is because the bugaboo b is the next lightest but it is actually double the weight and for me and my mum who are going to be kind of folding it up and carrying it around um it really made sense to go for something as light as possible um the cons however are it's so light and it's so flexible and easy to fold up that it means it's not the sturdiest thing in the world and i mean obviously it's perfectly safe but it is a bit like a sort of chassis with a sleeping bag on top um and the bugaboo b and other prams the kind of bigger and more expensive they get the more kind of solid this section is some of them you can even lift that off and that be your moses basket for four periods of time you're not supposed to leave them in it for a long time but yeah, so pros and cons, the, the suspension, because the little wheels and folding up isn't as good. And it's generally not as kind of enormous and sturdy, but I love the fact that it's not enormous. It's really quite dinky and I like that. It's not going to take up much room. The basket underneath is a lot smaller than other prams, but you know, if we're going to be folding it up, I don't really want to shove that full of lots of things. So for us, really, it is the perfect pram. We're really happy with it. Um, another upside is the fact that it's considerably cheaper <laughs> I don't know if it's half the price of a bugaboo B but if it's not half the price it's not that far off so that's what we've gone for that's what we feel like works for us um, it was funny actually because when we went to John Lewis to talk about prams they were like are you city or country and they only actually had like one option for city dwellers even though it was in central London so many prams are like four by fours aren't they and that just wasn't our vibe so we're really happy to have found this guy. So yeah, I think that's all of the bigger things I wanted to take you through. As I've said, we're really lucky and we're getting a few hand-me-downs of the bigger things like car seats um, and a co-sleeping guy for next to the bed, baby bouncers and ergo babies and slings and that sort of stuff. So I will do a follow-up video of hand-me-downs of bigger bits of gear that we're getting. Um, and then also next week it's going to be a baby clothes haul so some of our favourite baby grows and all the bits of bobs we've been buying um, clothes wise for the baby which is very exciting that's kind of my favourite bit um, so yeah thank you so much for watching if you fancy giving the video a thumbs up or subscribing that would be amazing it's so nice to see the tiny number of subscribers I have gradually growing and the community building um, and speaking of that please do leave comments for other parents or other interested people watching the video if you have the same pram or cot or if you have a different one that you absolutely love all the advice we can get together for people i'm sure would be really valuable so do um add comments and questions below um, and that would be fantastic but thank you so much um, i will see you next monday have a good week